Okay, so today I want to talk more about Air Gradient, which is a super awesome air quality monitoring company. It started in Thailand, uh, largely open source. So uh, what I have here today is their Air Gradient uh, Open Air Outdoor Air Quality Monitor. This one's a little bit different than some of the other more, more commercial review videos I've done in that this product is intended to kind of be a, a DIY deal. And uh, thankfully the printed circuit board is pre-soldered, but there, so there will be no soldering, but there will be programming at some point, I think. So in terms of packaging, I guess I also just want to call out the fact that it's, it's designed, they're committed to sustainability, it's designed to be minimally impactful in terms of packaging and uh, product. So that's cool too. Opening it up, there's just this little card here to scan the QR code and get to your correct build instructions based on the PCB version. Here's the circuit board. So there's a little packaging there, but you need that for static control. And this is, uh, like I said, the pre-soldered version 1.1 of that PCB. Then there's the device itself. Right. Let's see, coming out of here. So this is this is what the monitor is going to look like, or what it does look like. Put a wrench in here. There's a uh, the bottom of it, the bottom thing, and then inside are the uh, PM 2.5 sensors. So we can get a little close-up view of these here. Oh, well, my hands look huge right now. Okay, won't do that again. And here's the top of the monitor. So when this is all assembled back together, it'll sit together like so. And also in the box, down here at the bottom, there's a little more cardboard and things. Uh, here's the open air kit. Again, like I just geek out on this simple packaging stuff. And then also some cables. These are called crossover cables, apparently. I don't, you know, I had to look that up on the build instructions and then some very, very tiny, tiny little screws here. I'm definitely going to try not to lose. Okay. And then last thing in here is a USB-C cable. So not too bad. Uh, this monitor is going to look at temperature, relative humidity, and uh, particulate matter. So let's put it together. Okay, now for this part, uh, you'll need a phone. When we power on this monitor, it's gonna generate a hotspot, a Wi-Fi hotspot that we're gonna get to. So, plug in USB to power. Hopefully, we get something going here. Hey, look at that, look for Wi-Fi. I'm gonna take a screenshot because we're gonna to wanna to note that exact network and connect to it. We got the Wi-Fi password in now. Save it. Saving credentials. You can see the blue light there. 
turned off, which means now the device is connected to Wi-Fi, which is pretty sweet. You can also tell this is intended to be mounted uh, outside because you have the cable hanging down from it. So there's that to think about. And then here, so we're set up on the Wi-Fi. The reason I took a screenshot of that uh, Wi-Fi network on the device internally is it includes your serial number. So the name of the hotspot is AG blah, 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 some numbers. That's the serial number of the device that we will need here in this next step to um, add it to the dashboard. Okay, so then you're down here, add to the dashboard. Um, you're gonna go through account creation if you need to and then set up a place. So back here on the dashboard, we're gonna go here. It looks like I can update to a new version. So why not do that? And I'm gonna set up open air outdoor monitor go with my air gradient one that I already have here at the office. So back to Wi-Fi, we did this already. You have to write down that number because that's the serial number of your device. Connect to Wi-Fi network, configuration, scan, select network, and so on, so on. So, okay, we did that. Now I need to go back here, look at the serial number of my device. Okay, well, I guess that did it, it seems like it's here now. Here we are, Branch Pattern Omaha. I should have called this one Branch Pattern Omaha also, probably. That one's in the conference room. Oops, should put indoors there too. Oh yeah, this one. not public though. Okay, this one. Pattern Omaha, select those. Outdoor public recording, and so I'm also going to change my temperature to Fahrenheit because I need that in my life. And look, we're measuring particulate matter that's inside with me right now, so that's good that these match because we're in the same building. Relative humidity is maybe a little bit higher over there in the conference room, than it is right here. But that's great, that's exciting. It looks like it's all set up and now I need to go find out where I'm going to put this thing outside. Once, um, once a monitor sends data and it's set to public, you can see it on the dashboard and the air gradient map, which is really cool. So we'll go over here. Yay! Look at this. So. We're in Thailand, I assume. We can go over here to the US. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Who is this? Oh, look. It's branch pattern in Omaha. But there's more. So here we are. It's zero particulate matter because, again, I have this thing inside. Now I'm going to move it outside. But it looks like we have some neighbors that have monitors as well on open for our neighbors that have some data on um, open air, it's cool. Really Elkhorn. Up here, we got some higher particulate matter. Uh, there's, you know, power plants and things generally in them. This is really great. So, go us. Good job, Omaha. On the air quality map right now. Can't wait to get this thing outside and contribute some data. All right, well, uh, super excited. I'm excited about this. I'm always excited about air quality monitors, but now I'm excited to share some data on outdoor air and continue monitoring and learning and teaching everybody about all the things. So, yeah, that's the air gradient, open air outdoor air quality monitor. Go put it outside.